Hey my friends! You're probably wondering why is she so beautiful? A lot of makeup and filters. Subscribe! <laughs> Welcome back to another week in my unconventional life. I mean, I'm currently living with my mom, I'm a single parent, and I have a 17 month old child. Anywho, this video adventure started last Friday. I was in Phoenix all day for a photo shoot, but look at this sunset. I tried to take off my makeup with baby wipes, wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> it only kind of did the job. I mean, it did the job, but I just, I look like I've been crying or something. We got some groceries and then I'm going to California tomorrow. I'm just gonna fly, not bring these guys this time, which is sad. I don't know why this next part is so funny. It just is. Can you do it. Don't hit yourself in the face. And look, this little girl ran straight into Rex. Can you see this? He has a little bit of a black eye and just like pummeled him to the floor. I don't think she saw him. And he was crying. And we got a little memento at the Children's Museum today. I dropped Rex and my mom off at the Phoenix Children's Museum because he loves it there. And I had about two hours for my photo shoot and then I was gonna come join them. Well, when I got back, I guess um, they have these tubes that have where they force air up and you put scarves into them and the, the scarves go up the tubes and then they come out and they float down and the kids love them. They're screeching and Rex, I guess, was squealing and just having the best time ever and my mom just sees this blur, this blur and this little five-year-old was running full speed, hit Rex and Rex went flying. He is fine and already healed, but ugh, as a parent, terrifying. Saturday I was up at 3 45 a.m. and drove two and a half hours back down to the valley. I'm at the airport, I'm catching a flight to Burbank, and then I'll probably go from LAX back to Phoenix because there was no flights after my shoot to be able to go from Burbank back to Phoenix. Not that it matters. <laughs> I'm going out to shoot a really fun seg like sketch for this, uh, it's like a PSA for gun violence. And The director was Brendan Gibbons and the writer producer was Joel Sornow of 24 fame and I just couldn't turn it down. It was, the script was so funny. Hi, this is Cynthia. She's a teacher. Well, not in real life. She's an actress playing a teacher. Teacher for the, for the day. Yeah, I'm, I got the correct deets now. I just had to book a hotel because I'm gonna miss my flight tonight. So this is an adventure and I'm all for fun. Keeping my shots interesting. <laughs> The rest of the cast were really talented and just good humans, so it just made the whole thing really enjoyable. It's gotten to the point that we're taking selfies. <laughs> Where's the ones on yours? Wait. See, bonding. I just had to make a run to Whole Foods because I don't have anything to wash my face. Sunday I got up early again and caught a flight back to Phoenix and then drove from Phoenix back to Sedona and by the time I got home after three nights of not really sleeping, I was just loopy and tired. My mom thinks the angels have been off-roading in the sky. <laughs> theory one. I don't have my own theory. I like her theory. Monday, I still hadn't unpacked yet and Rex was taking full advantage. Rex, where are we going? That suitcase is your size. He's like, Mom and Grandma, I want to go back to Disneyland. I've also heard about Universal Studios Orlando and it sounds really cool. I am trying out my DPIIA Revive Light Therapy Unit. It's red light and blue light. I made a bed on the bathroom floor. Not sponsored. One's is red light, two is blue light, three is combo. I'm doing combo. It is medical grade blue and red light therapy, so it stimulates collagen and it kills bacteria. I've been using it on my face for about 15 minutes every morning, 10 to 15, and I just listen to a podcast and relax and um, the good thing was I bought it on Amazon, so I got it for about $150 cheaper and the company still honored like the year of warranty, so. Hey. My kiddo and I have a new game called Drag the Toddler Across the Floor and it's also become a part of our morning routine and he highly approves. And we tend to also have spontaneous dance parties. Cool mom. We 
went to a couple of different nurseries because my mom wanted to get some new flowers for the garden and I find plants really relaxing, so it was a chill day. I got my seatbelt on. You can't leave yet. Feels bad. You're just gonna drive without a seatbelt? Huh? That's not good. That's okay. We're waiting for our tuna melts. <laughs> It's been months since we've had them, so we've been good. Wednesday. Are you cleaning? You gotta protect your hands. What do you think? Do you want them off? <laughs> He's like, touches it. <laughs> it has been raining, so we are finally leaving the house at 3.17 p.m. Help mommy pick out an outfit because this is not acceptable. Baggy sweater, why the heck not? <laughs> the options for things to do in Sedona when it's raining are really limited because a lot of things are outside, but we found a store to go look at that kind of looks like an outlet store. It's indoors. Oh my, exciting day. You trying to get shoes on the child? Yes. Not an easy task. I have a feeling we're gonna be in here for a couple hours. <laughs> we really need to get face towels, like the little washcloths, because I keep staining them when I'm taking off my makeup. $5.99, price is right. You found me a pillow? Oh, girl, that's 100% my taste. This is you. Tacky, I'll buy it. <laughs> can you help me with the cart? Come on, Rex, help me. Good job, can you push it? Push the cart, push the cart. Clearance aisle where? Oh, okay. They have no suitcases if that's what you really need. There's like, there's nothing. These rugs are tiny. Oh, it's a chair, it's an animal. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's a puppy. <laughs> they have Legos? He spotted the other dog. <laughs> I'm seriously thinking about getting a new car. I mean, come on, it's a Mercedes. But it might be an impulse buy. I have a gym membership, but I haven't been using it lately because just chasing him has been enough. If we start a food truck, will you guys come to it? <laughs> we decided not to do the food truck and we're gonna do a dream house. There, that's a better angle. <laughs> He's so easily amused. Got out of the store, spotted a rainbow, and then proceeded to assemble Rex's new favorite possession. I put this together, oh, but I skipped some parts that were fun. <laughs> it's okay, I'll fix it. Rex, what do you think of your first house? It's spacious, it's made of plastic, it's very colorful, it's kind of modern, has a MoMA feel to it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> As a parent, nothing makes me happier than seeing my child happy. All it's missing is a kitchen, a bathroom, a closet, plumbing, running water. But besides that, perfect. And Thursday. Best $60 ever spent. I don't know if I told you guys, but I ate a bunch of almond yogurt and I got bumps all over my face and like lumps all over my neck. I had a huge allergic reaction. So it's been about three weeks now. My skin's finally starting to look better. I think everything's been helping like exfoliating and my light machine and just cutting out nuts. So I developed an almond allergy. That was part of the reason that there was no video last week. I mean. Granted, I was really busy, but I also was just covered in lumps and bumps. I started to vlog and then it was giving me anxiety because I just needed to give it time to peel and heal. Just peel and heal. <laughs> Whatever this has been, the whole video, I apologize. <laughs> Down Besse. That was my vlog and now it's time for some winners. Phoenix Gale Merritt said the person she admires most is her grandma and she just sounds like an amazing person, so she gets the headphones. And Ella Marie 425 really admires her friend Casey who pushed her to follow her dreams. So she is winning the Urban Decay Naked What's it called? Petite heat. I am going to be doing more giveaways here soon, so keep checking back in. And I also have a few things that I want to talk about so bad, but I can't talk about yet, but they're really good. So just stick with me because trust me, you want to hear what I'm going to have to say. Even in moments where your skin is bad or your relationship or your job, or you have a really important photo shoot and you look like you have teenage acne, just keep going. Keep believing in yourself. I had an old acting teacher of mine that used to always say, you have to go out and collect a lot of no's to get to some yeses. Like in your life, it'll be 98% no, 2% yes. So being afraid of failure is pointless. I couldn't agree more. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Face bump instead of fist bump.
because I got a lot of these and only a couple of those. That is what you call making light of a situation. <laughs> Bye.